Um, there's all sorts of extensions that you can look at in the extensions online. For instance, the Adobe Color theme, which we're not going to get into. Um, the Adobe Color theme allows you to like come up with color palettes. Another way to do that is going to the site Cooler, K-U-L-E-R, and you can come up with some color palettes that way. Um, 3D, again, I've kind of been avoiding covering 3D for this entire session because you get into that rabbit hole, and oh my gosh, there are so many places to go right there. But basically, this is the menu that allows you to deal with 3D objects, whether they're a postcards, extrusions, or meshes, or all, all sorts of other things. We're not getting into 3D because it's a world of pain that is really outside of the scope right here. Actions, again, are ways of doing automated um, things that you might want to do over and over again. So it's a way to automate Photoshop. If you want to, for instance, crop um, you know, 500 images in a row, you, uh, you just create a new action, yeah, do, 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 create a new action right here, you call it whatever you want, and then you're hitting record, and then when you stop it, you're able to play that action inside of the file, uh, automate, batch feature. Anyway, I talk about that elsewhere. It's a lovely little feature. That's the actions panel. Um, adjustments right here. This is, um, you know, I for the most part use this half cookie or moon cookie or whatever icon down here. All of these are also located as icons inside of the adjustment menu. So if you just click the uh, brightness and contrast or levels or whatever, that will all also create these color adjustment layers. So that's the adjustment window. And the other thing that's cool about the adjustment window is it kind of works well with the properties window. So you create an adjustment, and then when you create that adjustment, whatever the adjustment is will then show up inside of the properties window. So anyway, we'll talk about the properties window when we get down there. We're not there yet. That was just adjustments. All right, guys? Um, brush right here, all sorts of things hidden in brush. And the truth is there could be an entire session um, just on painting. I'm sick of saying there could be an entire session on different things, and it just allows you to change all sorts of different things in the brushes. Again, something I've talked about elsewhere. Brush presets, I haven't really talked about this elsewhere. Um, normally when I'm going to brush presets, I'm just going to these right here, but there is a window if you want to kind of look at what each of the things in the brush preset look like. If you want a different set of brush presets, you can either click that icon right there, or you can click this icon right here. They accomplish the exact same thing and I'm mostly just doing it straight from here. The truth is despite the amount of illustrating I do, I don't do many custom brushes. Maybe I should. Maybe I'd be a better illustrator if I did. Who's to say? I am. I should get deeper into brushes. Channels. The channel window located right here. I kind of hint at all the time in this course and uh, hopefully at some point I've covered the theory already of it. It's just the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. You combine them together. Ta-da! It's the colors of the image. And oh my gosh, it's also the foundation of all things Photoshop. If you have a selection, that actually, ah, get rid of properties. If you have a selection and, you know, turn it into a mask or something, that's actually its own channel. Everything's a channel in Photoshop. Selections are channels. Masks are channels. Channels are channels. Saved selections are channels. Everything's just a black and white image, a.k.a. a channel. Or to rephrase that, everything's a channel aka a black and white and shades of gray image. You combine a red, green, and blue channel together, all of the colors in the rainbow. Even more so if you're going 16-bit as opposed to 8-bit. Reference for people who are paying attention earlier. Um, character. All right, so the character window and also the paragraph and character style window, that's dealing with typography things. It's where all the typography things are. If you have multiple styles, don't get too complicated. This isn't in design, folks. 